Hello YouTube people. I got a quick video for you today. I want to show you how I get free food prepping items from the Dollar Tree. If you got a couple of minutes, stick around. You may like this. So let's get started. Today I want to share two ways on how I get free items from the Dollar Tree. Now if you already shop the Dollar Tree, then you know that not every item in the store is worth a dollar. Some items you could probably find a few cents cheaper somewhere else, but for the most part, the Dollar Tree does have some good deals on many items. Let me give you an example of a of how I got free items at the Dollar Tree just the other day. My wife said she needed some applesauce. She said it was three dollars at Walmart and she handed me three dollars and wanted me to go get it for her. So on my way to Walmart I remembered that I had seen applesauce at the Dollar Tree or I thought I had. So I went to the Dollar Tree and sure enough, they had a jar of applesauce on the shelf. So here I am with three dollars in my hand. So I was thinking, when I, why, why don't I get her the applesauce and get me two food prepping items? So I did. I got her the applesauce. I got me a thing of A1 and a jar of raspberry uh, preserves. Now, I'm not saying you should steal money from your spouse to buy stuff with from the Dollar Tree. What I'm saying is, I was planning on spending $3 on one item in the beginning, but I ended up getting three items for the same amount of money. It's like getting something free. Okay, let me give you another example. Let's say that you you want a, a tape measure. You're doing a project in the backyard and you need you need a new tape measure. You can't find your old one and you, you decide that you're just gonna get a new one. So they got them just like this at Home Depot and at a Lowe's for five dollars. But by now taking your five dollars to the Dollar Tree instead of Home Depot you can go back home with a tape measure, a bag of beans, and a bottle of A1 and still have two bucks left over out of the five dollar bill. Man, you having a good day now. Okay, you get the idea. If you've never been in a Dollar Tree, I suggest you go to one day and just look around and make yourself aware of what all is in the store. I think you'll be surprised at what you see. And you don't have to remember the prices because everything's one dollar. Just get a good idea of what they stock in there. And they do get items in and out all the time, so, so just check, keep check on them. Okay, the second way I get free items, and this one may, may not apply to you, and if not, then you can pass it on to somebody else that can use it. I'm an eBay seller. I've been selling on eBay part-time for about 20 years now. I've sold a little of everything on eBay I get. So if you sell on eBay, Amazon, or one of the other places, then the Dollar Tree is a perfect place to find items to flip. You can use part of, of the profit to get your prepping items in. I see all of these items on eBay all the time, including food items. But one of the main things that sell there, that sells the best, is the collectible items. Things like this, uh, this Batman figurine, and you, they got Batman, Superman, or uh, Wonder Woman, 
and things like that that people call collectibles, like those two magazines uh, with an Elvis on it and a Charlie's Angels. Uh, I was in there a while back, and they had 12 each of those magazines, and I bought them all. Uh, that's why you got to get there early, or the flippers will beat you to the good deal. So you got to check back often. And don't be afraid to buy something if you do sell on eBay, because it, it'll sell on there if, if it's a collectible item. Uh, I, I got the magazines on there right now for, uh, I believe, three or four dollars each plus the shipping. And I keep that money separate from my other eBay money, so I take the profit and just reinvest it. And I go back to the Dollar Tree and use that money to buy my prepping items to go in my uh, food storage bin. Uh, but like, like I tell my wife, I may talk. I may talk to a dummy, but that doesn't mean I'm one. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in. But let me get serious for a minute here, folks. There, there's going to be a major food shortage here before long. You can mark that down. It is coming. I'm sure you've probably already seen the empty shelves in the uh, supermarkets, and it's it's just going to get worse. It, it's not going to get any better. So the best thing you could do is start putting stuff up if you're not already doing that. And just do do a little every week. I mean, that's that's the key to just be consistent with it. Just put up a few dollars every week, just canned stuff and stuff that'll keep. And uh, put it in your food pantry and just uh, keep adding to it every week. All right, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. And, and if you haven't already, give me the thumbs up and do that. And then subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it. Y'all have a good day now. And always remember, kind people are the best kind of people. Thank you.